Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to replace my blown up motor and my D110 with a uh, MTD V twin Briggs and Stratton motor. This motor here I had in my lawn tractor here and then in the camshaft blew apart and destroyed it. So I bought a uh, V twin right over there and uh, I want to put it in this thing. So I have a video I take this motor apart. You can you can watch that. I'll, I'll put it in the comments below. So that's a single cylinder here, but I'm gonna drill out the port here for the accommodate the dual. So, uh, I don't have a one and a one sixteenth drill, so I'm just gonna use a cutter here. I know that one's the same size here. So I'm gonna jack up the tractor. So I'm gonna lower my lower deck to the bottom. Then I'm gonna undo this clip here. Let's see if the bolt holes line up here. They don't quite line up perfectly. The motor's got to go ahead about an eighth of an inch. So I got to go one eighth further. So I'm gonna elong elongate these holes here. So I'm gonna leave this loose so the muffler goes back and forth over an eighth of an inch. That lines up pretty good there. Let's go. Put the belt over. Make sure the belt is in those guides there. And the belt on here and now we gotta wire the thing up. So I'm gonna steal this wiring harness off of this one here. There's your kill wire and your gray wire. Goes to here, and there's a ground on this side. The ground goes underneath here. I'm gonna take that ground off. So the V twin's got two coils, so it needs two wires to one to each coil to to kill them, to ground them. And I'm just gonna cut this one in a single cylinder. Only has one kill wire. Now this is the, uh, the cable that hooks to your voltage regulator, and this plug plugs in here. I'm gonna slack off the starter here. I won't, the wires won't, won't go through. There you go. I'm gonna pass the wires here, through there. I plugged it into the fuel shut off here and the ground wire. It goes underneath here. And I'm gonna attach it back to that wire here in the starter. I'm gonna hook up just my kill switch. All right, I'm gonna put some heat shrink here. Just two wires together here. Make sure you don't have any grease on your hands. I'm gonna solder these together. You don't have to solder them together, but I do. I don't want them to come apart. You can put a little piece of tape around there if you want. Leave it with us.
So on the other motor, the fuel pump was on this side. So now this is the V-twins are on this side. So you gotta add the fuel, fuel line because this fuel line only goes up to here. So you're missing about a foot. So I got fuel uh, line here. Uh, was a little smaller. Oh. It'll never come off of that if I need a clamp on that anyway. Check the oil, see low. So this tractor only comes with one lever. So I ordered a dual lever one, one for the choke and one for the gas. So that'll be coming in shortly. I put the hood on and uh, doesn't quite close up all the way. So the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a quarter of an inch all the way around here. better. Let's clean that up a little bit more. All right, see if it starts. that's it so if your motor blows up and uh, you can only find a motor out of the mtd or any briggs and stratton motor will fit uh, as long as you take the wiring harness off your old motor and you transfer it over to your other motor and you're ready to go all right uh, if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel click below you can click on the uh, thumbs up button below thank you for watching